Hello everyone, welcome to today's episode of Easy SAP ABOP. Today we're going to be showing you about a transaction and a built-in table in SAP uh, known as TVARV. So this is a table. Let's go, just go right in this transaction. We'll explain it a little bit better. So this is transaction STVARV. This allows you to define parameters, custom parameters, and custom selection options. Let's create a selection option real quick. I'll just call it Z, sell up. I'll say a lower and limit. I'll just say low, high limit, high. So I've created a custom selection option, a custom parameter. And the beauty of these is we can use these in our custom ABOP programs. So let's take a look actually at SE11 at the TVAR C table. C is, just means it's client dependent because there is a there is actual client here. There is a TVARV without C, which you can use for maintaining client independent variables, but we're just going to look at TVARV C. So now if I go to my contents and I search, I can see my custom parameter and my selection option here. This type field will let me know whether it is a parameter, P, or a selection option, S. The difference between P and S, parameter, it's going to have one low value here. That's all a parameter has. It can be uppercase, lowercase, but that's going to just be one parameter value. You can think of it just like your parameters in your selection screens. It has one value. Your selection options, type S, you can think of it just like your select options keyword in your selection screens. So there can be a sign, an actual option, a low, and a high. So what that means is you can use it as kind of a selection table, or you can iterate through it, loop through it, and... Uh, get you know if you had multiple select options here with multiple values we got just low and high right now let's go and uh, actually create one more so Z select option go into change mode let's edit this and let's add a couple so I can say select single values let's just say test one test two and then save it so now we've got it saved. We've got our multiple selections saved here. And if we go into SE16 to our TVARV table, TVARV C table, we can see we have just like a select option. We have includes equals test one or test two. So this is a pretty neat way that we can get these, you know, custom configurations in our program. We see here SAP does have some standard things here, but um, don't touch those. Of course, keep it in the customer namespace. Make your either custom parameter or custom select option here have a Z or a Y at the start of it. That way you know it's not going to get overwritten during any SAP upgrades or anything like that. So we can read this table from an ABOP program. Let's just go ahead and half my screen here. So we can say, and we can write custom logic based on it, right? So we can say things like, uh, let's see, data, LT, which is actually a global table, but whatever. Type table of TVARVC. And then we select the data, star from TVARVC, into table LT TVARVC. And then we'll just put a breakpoint in here. And then we'll just go ahead and run this actual ABOP program. And what that's going to do is it's going to select data from this database table. STVRFC transaction. Come in here, take a look. Go into our debugger. And we can see, we see our parameters and our select options here. So what this allows you to do is to modify these parameters without having to change your code. So, for example, you might want to have one of these entries in production. So I could have something like Let's just go and actually add another one. STVARV is our transaction. Let's do another parameter. Let's just call it Z do something and value X. So now I can get a little more creative. I can actually just select a single value. So select single star from TVARV into 
our little structure, our local structure. So now I'm just selecting this single parameter, z underscore do underscore something. So now, let's just do this. If ls tvar of c low equals abop true, which means it's this little x that we've defined over here. Abop true is equal to x. It's the same thing. I could say else. And then we'll just create a little message in here so we can see this at runtime, what's happening. So I'll say message my custom parameter was true. Type i. And then down here, I can say message my custom parameter was false. Type i. So now, if I activate this code, I can go ahead and run it. And it's going to select this data. It's going to see the X right there. It's going to say my custom parameter was true. Now we can actually modify this table. I'll just take it out. Now if I run my program, I'm going to see my custom parameter was false. So this is really useful because we can actually provide configuration values for our programs that we don't have to modify the code in production if we want to change. So for example, you know, I've got like a report that I have written before where I've got Z and then program name notify user. So this is like maybe if a report fails, it'll send an email. I just put my username in there. And if I retire or switch jobs, somebody can come into this parameter and they can put their username in there. We don't have to change the actual program itself. We can just change the config over here. So that about wraps up uh, the tvarfc table and the related transaction that you're going to use to modify it. That's tvarf. So if you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to leave a comment. Definitely like this video, and if it was helpful, please leave me a subscribe. 90% of my watchers are not subscribed to my channel. I would really love to get those numbers up because it gives me wonderful incentive to keep making these videos for you guys. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.